Hello again, Andy with Handy Andy Handyman, and welcome back to uh, a project run through. One of our existing clients has purchased this gorgeous house over in East Cobb and Marietta, uh, and there's just a number of issues with the house. Um, it, it, it amazed me some of the things that go on. So the previous owner spent a ton of money on this house. She probably spent $250,000, maybe even three hundred, dollars on the work that she did. She renovated uh, most of the bathrooms, the kitchen. She put brand new or fairly new Pella windows in this house. Um, that was probably $40,000 alone. Uh, she put a new roof on. She redid the deck. Uh, she did a number of things. And some of the things weren't done well. Uh, one of the things that they did with this house is they put a uh, water intrusion system in, which is basically a pump down in the basement that'll pump any water uh, that gets into the basement. You know, and sometimes there's really a need for that. Um, but I don't know about you. I'm a very commonsensical person. And so when you look at this land, I'm an old farm boy. I grew up on the farms. We've been doing drainage issues my whole life. When you look at the topography here, everything is sloped away from the house. Um, you're sitting up on a hill. So this house should never have any drainage issues whatsoever. There's a couple of things with it. And one of the things I hate about the salespeople with these water systems is that they're one hit wonder. The salesman's making 10 or 15% on the sale. He's gonna sell you a system, most of them, unless they're honest. This house didn't need a system. It's fine that it's there. Um, but when they're selling you these products, be careful in our industry. Oftentimes the salespeople are, are selling you uh, a solution to a symptom and not really getting to the causation. So here on this house, when you look at it, uh, she's got you know nice three by four inch downspout. She's got brand new six inch gutters on the house all the way around. Uh, but you get into this up, we talk about it all the time. Corrugated drains should never be placed underground. I don't care who wants to argue with me or say whatever. You know, the proof is when you come out and see this stuff. So here's an underground drain that they ran. It's corrugated pipe. You can see that at some point, it just falls apart. The UV rays break this stuff down and you can see the gap right here. Most of this water right now is running against the foundation. And so what happens with a house like this is in any house, all houses are pretty much built with a foundation drain if they've got a basement. And so there's a foundation drain that goes all the way around the perimeter of this house and goes around to the back. We found one end over there that's clogged. I don't know where the foundation drain comes out on the left side. We're going to have to find it. It's probably been buried over. They've done landscaping back there. Who knows? Um, but don't let your landscapers do your drainage issues because if you do, they'll do this. And the builders do it still. They're still running underground lines, corrugated pipe like this. It clogs and then you've got a big problem. And so all these corrugated pipes uh, need to be replaced with four inch solid pipe. It'll be a bit of a project to come through here and figure out where it goes. Um, there's a section down here. We'll show it to you in a second that's clogged. Uh, so we've got to spend some time investigating and figure out where these lines go and, and gradually replace them. The same thing right here. And so this is the area down in the basement where they had the issue with the water right here. Well, look at the slope of your land. It's all sloping nicely away. It, you've got a, a, a potential trap water right here, and you're certainly going to do it like you're doing it right now. This pipe should be extended down to the ground, run into a solid four inch pipe uh, with a clean out that'll run across the yard. Is this stuff cheap to do? No, it's not. Uh, it, to do drainage correctly, it's, it's not a, a cheap process. But we do a four inch pipe, you've done it once, you clean it out once a year, you get somebody like us to clean your gutters. This is another problem. People clean gutters, a lot of times the landscapers are doing it, they'll blow the gutters out, they never run a hose down these lines and clear them with enough pressure to, to get after it. Uh, this one to the left of the entry is the same deal. Uh, and there's more drainage on the other side of the house. He's got some stucco issues. We'll kind of scan across the house as we go through. These kind of repairs are horrific. If you can look in here and see what they've done right here, someone just pieced in a piece of scab wood, uh, which is now rotting again. And that was just done recently. Whenever you have a nose like this, you can never piece in a nose. It has to be totally replaced. So this piece needs to be replaced. Anywhere you see wrinkling on the wood, you're gonna catch rotted trim. It's gonna be hard to catch it in this light, but the, the upper molding on top of this window is rotted. That's the master bedroom up there. I, I think the left and right brick molds right here and over here rotted as well. So any place you see wrinkling in the wood, you'll catch it here on this front entry. Um, people tell homeowners, you gotta change this door out. This is a fairly new door. She replaced it once already. It's not original to the house. We can sand and uh, restain and put marine spar. If you're using poly in our market, it doesn't hold up. It's like, it'll hold up for three to six months. Marine spar for boats is gonna hold up the best. 
and you're going to have to just plan. If you want to keep this nice, you got to read this, do this door every two or three years. That's it. If you have us come back annually and put another coat of marine spar on it, or you can do it yourself, we'll buy you the product and you'll be good, good to go. Here, the, the left side, and again, people will come out and say, oh my God, your frame is rotted. You need to replace your door. No, you don't. If you want a new door, go ahead and spend the money, but this is better quality built than anything you would buy today. The left and right inside frame here is rotted, right side out, left outside frame, and you just see it in the wrinkling of the wood. I can go up there and put my finger in it and it'll go right through. Most of these windows on the front, when the guys are here, you know, they'll, they'll check out everything. I can only do so much from the ground. Uh, again, when you see this second story bonus room window right here, you see that wrinkling in the right corner right there? That's rotted out as well. They're, they're all fairly standard and routine repairs for us. The trick is whenever you have contractors replacing wood or repairing wood, make sure they back prime and, and uh, paint all six sides of the replacement wood. Don't use synthetic product, especially on a stucco house, because if you had uh, PVC trim on this house, it won't ever rot to let you know you've got a problem until you've got a serious issue with the stucco. And instead of a hundred dollar repair, you've got a $20,000 repair. And we see that all the time in Atlanta. Stucco was really, really popular in Atlanta. Um, we had a little bit of rot on this left brick mold right here, just in this corner of this particular window. The rest of it looks pretty good. And again, there's only so much I can do from the ground, but when you're walking your own house, you're just looking for the, the wrinkles. Little simple stuff in here. This door needs a threshold support underneath the door. Uh, the deck, we can pressure wash and stain. This is a replacement deck. I hate that they sunk, they screwed it, but they sunk the screws without countersinking them, so it split the wood. Uh, but this deck just needs to be cleaned and restained, not, not rebuilt. Um, this side of the house, you got a lot of, of drainage issues here again. This upper section of roof line drains to the sunroom, which drains down to the bottom here. And you'll see that it was clogged and they cut a big hole in the corrugated pipe again. <coughs> Excuse me, before he does anything, we need to trench it before he does anything with his backyard back here. Find out where that line goes and replace it with four inch with a clean out and he'll be fine. A lot of the problems with the wood rotting here is really from the gutters. Water's coming over the top, splashing. And here, again, you never piece in like this. That's a horizontal cut. It just rotted out again. This nose is a, a 10 foot section. It's a custom piece. We can't buy that at Home Depot. Our carpenters actually make this stuff. Um, but she's had different people work here. This guy, whoever did this repair is a nice uh, 45 weather cut and it'll never rot again if he back primed and sealed all those materials. The sunroom door is the same issue, right side frame. See the wrinkling we talk about in there and horizontal cut. So the frame and the mold both need to be repaired. When we come down in the back, there's a, a lot of little rotted pieces in the back. This little, this, the, the stairs through the backyard here with the stone and everything is nice. Just needs to be pressure washed, cleaned up. Don't have to replace these railroad ties. Um, it gets expensive. We can just go ahead and stain this stuff. Stain it a dark stain. It'll cover up the, the uh, cracks and the imperfections. You won't see it. Um, something like a Cabot, I believe, uh, or Cord Cordoban Brown is a good uh, bear product that we've used for this application. You know, like this one right here, this little corner piece right here, you could replace it, but why go the expense? And then once you start replacing all this stuff, you're actually rebuilding all these steps, and, and that's going to be uh, literally thousands of dollars to do. So even the ones that are set in the ground here, once we clean them up and stain them, they're good. I wouldn't replace them. But we always offer this advice to our customers. At the end of the day, they're the ones that are stroking the check. So we'll do what you want as long as it isn't too totally idiotic. Here's your rear foundation drain, I believe. It's clogged. It's tilted up. It can't drain. So we've got to solve that problem. Um, this drain right here, this corrugated pipe again, is draining all their undermount system back here. So they've got this gutter that goes across. While we're here, these will clog with debris, so they need to be cleaned out periodically. I'd probably have us go ahead and do that. Um, but we'll have to spend some time actually siting and sourcing where all these drains go. One is back over here somewhere. I'm assuming there's another one back in this area. There'll be a couple over in this area right here. Um, underneath here, I would wait on doing anything. I would just pressure wash the patio for right now, live in the house a little bit, and then we can come back and do a nice screened in porch system back here uh, you know, with a door, and, and this would be a great space. Even with a, a mosquito system on the property, there's one tucked back in the bushes over here. Um, it's so shady back here, you're gonna have tons of mosquitoes. Uh, the fortunate thing in Cobb and these kind of neighborhoods, most people are using 
Mr. Mosquito or one of those companies to come and fog every month or so. Terrible for the environment, but it, it kills your mosquitoes and uh, it allows you to at least enjoy your backyard. You can see what happens with these corrugated pipes. This one, probably they cut into it, the landscapers, or someone cut into it because it was clogged. Uh, the best thing you can do is, and you'll see it's falling apart in front now as well. They just break down. UV rays break them down. They're prone to clogs, and you'll see hundreds of our videos or projects where we've gone out and had to do this exact same thing. Uh, the only person that this system benefits is the builder or the contractor doing it because it's cheap, and you don't have to have any skills. When you put in four-inch solid pipe, you actually have a nice uh, slope, and it has to be hand dug, and this is what happens. So same thing right here. Got to go ahead and take care of that. Uh, back across this, the triple rear sunroom window here, this nose is rotted. Uh, the left and the, the left brick mold, and there's a center, top center right there that's rotted. You see that wrinkling? It's really all you're looking for. When you come around to the right side, similar issues here. You got this one is, you're not going to be able to still see it in the video. We see that wrinkling on the left and the right. The frame is rotted as well. The guys will have to investigate it, but we think the right frame here on the, uh, the rear great room window is rotted. Back down in here behind the bushes, we've got some rot in the left and right corner brick mold, and this nose is rotted right dead center in there, right there. Uh, and again, you can't piece those in. Those are custom pieces. Uh, these windows that were done, they, they kind of put a, an aluminum flashing piece over the top, and that's really because they couldn't gauge the size of the windows and drain them properly. Uh, and so some of these noses are rotted, like here. They pieced it in. You can see where they made the repair right there, uh, and that's now rotted. So we've got to replace that whole piece. You can see the wrinkling I'm talking about there in that left brick mold right here, in that right there. We'll fix that as well. Got a little bit of rot on these upper windows as well. It's not gonna show up well in the video right now. It's kind of raining. See that indentation on that nose right there on the office window? That lets you know it's rotted. And we got some rot on this master window up here as well. This drain is very important uh, that we clear this out and replace it. This clog, and I believe the clog on the front side over here is what has caused some of the buckling in the stucco. I believe the water's gotten in behind it at different times. So we've got some buckling around this window here. She had huge junipers here at one point and it kept all the moisture in, it, up against the house. Probably hadn't seen this area in years. This house is 1988, 1990. So, I mean, it's, you know, 25, 30 years old. Um, but this downspout right here is catching a lot of water. And so the whole left side of the house is draining to that, which we believe runs to the neighbor. We couldn't find it here this morning, but uh, we're gonna trench and run it towards the front where it's got a nice pitch and it'll drain down the, down the street, which is what you want. Um, these windows right here aren't rotted. This was replaced fairly recently, I'd say within the last year or two. And I hate it because they replaced this brick mold and they could have just reflashed the window. See how short the flashing is? And that's part of your problem. The water's getting in behind. This flashing should extend past the, the trim here, about three quarters of an inch to uh, an inch and a half beyond is what we like to see. This window over here, you can get up on it and see that, how badly the repairs are done uh, and how rotted this stuff is. So the nose is rotted on this window. The center repair needs to be redone. This brick mold has re-rotted where they made the repairs. They made a horizontal cut. And then when you get up in here, this is rotted as well. Uh, it's gotten into the top mold. So because we're replacing the top mold here, we'll reflash this. We'll seal these cracks. You can see a lot of cracking in the stucco on this side. Um, but you see the bulges. There's one here. Uh, there's a couple above it. There's the crack here. And there's four large sections here you see what looks like blistering and bulges. So we'll have to cut those out, skim them over, uh, and then repaint the side of the house. Stucco can be painted. This is a synthetic stucco. <coughs> they don't make it anymore in Georgia. Uh, it used to, it's a company called Drive It. They're long gone. Um, it got used a lot in commercial stuff. And then kids discovered if you throw rocks, they stick in it. So they started throwing rocks at all the buildings. It's gonna be hard to see it here in the video, but on this side of the bay, uh, there's a hole in the stucco up there that we need to seal. So that's kind of a run through what we'll be doing over here. And that's one of the reasons that people like using Handy Andy. You can go ahead and find different contractors to do different pieces if you want. Uh, but it's certainly a lot easier to deal with one contractor who does it all. Um, my brother and I run our own crew, so you'll see us out on the jobs. We're not just selling jobs. We actually work them with our guys. And so it's hard for us to keep up, so you got to be patient with us. Um, this is an existing customer, so they, they get priority with us. But um, you can see where the homeowner previously has done some repairs. Um, but the landscaping, uh, 
he wants to landscape this back back here and you really got to deal with the drainage issues first so once you deal with the exterior rot and it seems like a lot but it really isn't this homeowner was fairly conscientious and she spent a lot of money maintaining this house um, so a lot of times stucco houses make me nervous uh, but this one is is well maintained it was a good buy for our customer it's got you know a new roof um, the guys need to come out when we come out we'll check this when you're looking at ridge it, it uh vent boots on your house if you see a shadow underneath like this one right here it means that it's not sealed and it's probably leaking water so you just want to eyeball that when we're out here simple repair a lot of this stuff honestly is stitching time saves nine like our buddy ben franklin used to say you know 200 years ago or however long ago you know what worked then works now here i can't remember if i said it but we need to put a threshold support underneath just the uh threshold right here uh, so it doesn't crack and break And we're slowly starting our on-demand group, which will start doing some handyman work. So look for that. Uh, you usually see me in one of these trucks. You can reach us in the office at 770-912-2829. Or sometimes you can catch me directly at 770-265-9017. I'm 80. See you at the next house. Bye for now.